Why do we really pray to the Holy Souls? Is there a benefit to us or it's totally for their sake? Ang ating ginagawa here on earth benefits the soul. Our prayers, ang pamisa natin, are good works if we attribute it to the poor souls in purgatory. Sila nang ba ang nagbe-benefit? <laughs> Lahat ba ito para sa kanila? Well, first and foremost, why should it bother us? Hindi ka nagpe-pray dahil you are asking for a prize. You do that out of charity. Matter of fact, praying for the poor souls uh, is one of the spiritual works of mercy. Meron ba yung tinatawag na wandering souls o di kaya uh, kanuluwang ligaw ba? Positive ba yun o hindi? Okay. Are they good or not? Okay, sige. So, we are dealing with something that we do not have an experience in the physical realm kasi yes. these are spirits. No. But, you know, I was surprised that there are so many prayers about the wandering souls. Ngayon nga minsan sa simbahan because it's November. Okay? Yes. <laughs> so we have this pabisa sa kaluluwa, especially yung buong buwan. Be, uh, may mga prayers at blessing-blessing pa nga kaming ginagawa every day of November. And some of those prayers mention about wandering souls. And you know, there is a principle in the church, very early principle ito. It's in Latin. Lex creden, lex orande, lex credendi. Yung lex is law. The law of prayer is the law of faith. So when it is already in the prayer, that is already part of the faith. So when we pray for the wandering souls, then that's part of our faith na may mga kaluluwa na nangangailangan ng ating tulong. Okay? So, I bank on the fact that we have prayers for the lost souls, and therefore, there are lost souls. So, wandering souls are lost souls. Probably. How would you define a lost soul? Uh, there are many uh, reasons. No? According to, uh, you know, talking with people, some of them would say, kasi these are still earthbound, kasi may mga desires sila that they have not cut off that are earthly, may desire sila sa possession nila. Kaya, example, the desire of the house can naging haunted house kasi they stay in their house. They don't transition, they don't move on. Attachment without Attachment, time. yes. That's another term, no? Yung iba naman, kasi nga, hindi sila nadasalan, you know, salvage victims probably. So, hindi na ayos ang kanilang kamatayan, ni hindi nga nabigyan ng proper burial. That's why they are wandering around. No? Yung iba naman, you know, they suffered sudden death. They are not ready. So they are still longing to communicate to those whom they have left behind. So they linger. So maraming reasons. Na even in movies, you will see that. And I don't think these are just fictions. It has inspiration somewhere. Kasi I believe, alam mo, yung mga creatives, the directors, and you know, etc., yung mga writers, akala mo at hang isip, but it was an inspiration that they translated in our own art form what is actually the reality on another, let's say, dimension. Like for example, how do they portray itong mga lost souls? Di ba ang pangit nila? They are, they are like beggars, parang mga taong grasa sila, no? Itim ng mga, ano, ng mga ipin, ang dudumi ng mga hopo, and camp. Okay? So, why is that so? I was reflecting on that for a long time, no? Now, yung na-transition naman sa heaven, na so, pagdagman, it was, diba, they are ethereal, light beings, ang ganda-ganda, mm -hmm. no, may mga stardust fights, <laughs> Those are creative ways of telling us the transformation of the souls that have seen the face of God. Sa aking palagay, again, this is speculative on my part, no? that the souls, as pure energy, they are fed by the light of God. No? So when they see God, and the light of God goes to them, so they are healthier. No? 
So the more they are nearer to God, even the angels, the more that they become inflamed. Kaya nga, the closest to God na mga, ano, na mga angels, they are fire. Kasi grabe yung energy of God that goes to them. So nagliliyab na sila. The farther you are to God, the safer you become. Nagiging light being ka lang. Hindi ka nagliliyab. Kasi ibig sabihin, ang nakukuha mong light has been filtered already. So, ang food ng soul, I guess, is the glory of God, the doxa of God. So, when you see God face to face, you become transformed. Itong mga lost souls na earthbound, they don't have the light of God. What feeds them? Sa akin palagay, it's our negative feelings. Okay? Yan yung, that's what they lap. No? That's what, you know, keeps them going. Eh, when you eat negative feelings, ito nagpapangit ka. It's like a person who doesn't eat nutritious food, no? You get deformed. You get ugly in the long run. So the more, the longer they stay earthbound, the more that they become ugly. Kaya nga, yung mga depiction ng ma- sa movies probably have a basis on what is real. They could not explain it logically because it comes to them as an inspiration. Okay, so I have great respect for creatives because sometimes they can tap on consciousness that is not, you know, available for ordinary mortals. Kaya sabi natin kakaiba sila eh. In an unpolitic- non-unpolitical world, sasabi natin mga abnormal. <laughs> Kasi, you know, they go to other planes of consciousness. No? But sometimes sila ang nakatatranslate ng mga bagay na hindi natin may explain logically in a creative form. Okay, so going back to your question, yung mga ligaw na kaluluwa, okay, I guess there are for various reasons. And they become ugly simply because they have not seen God face to face. That's why they do not get the divine light of God. So hindi sila nag-glow like the other souls that are blessed. Okay. Is it their fault that they are that way? Or do we have some sort of contribution to the state that they are in? Because you mentioned negative feelings. No? So yeah. could I have more clarity on that? The- okay. Response. Okay, so I guess the fault will be both ways. It's their fault because they could not let go. Their love for earthly things is greater than their desire to see God. No, so that's on their ano. Uh, that's on their side. It's sometimes our fault because we caused their demise early. They are not prepared. They were very angry because we cut off some of their dreams. And that was their last consciousness. I still have to do this and you killed me. So, probably, may doon side din minsan ang mga living. Okay? And of course, our imperfect world feeds their, you know, feeds them with imperfection. Negative end. That's why they become ugly. Now, what would happen if the world is such a good place where we only have positive feelings for each other? I think they would find it inadequate that they would long for the real thing in heaven. It's so like they the would, saints, you know? Yeah. So they would go, eh, bakit pa tayo kakaya ng second class na energy, you know? Let's go directly to the source. But again, that's speculative, pure, you no, know, on our part. You are watching ETVN Philippines. Emmanuel, the God with us so safe. Ang nagkaroon ng impact sa akin, Father, dun sa sinabi mo, yung, yung uh, statement na their love for their attachments in the world is greater than their desire to see God. Mm-hmm. So if we were to reflect on that, it seems to me that it means that our focus really, especially when we're still here on earth, is to really have that desire to see God. Yeah. Have that desire to see God. Exactly. Father, yung susunod kong katanungan ay very basic and simple. Siguro iisipin mo. Simple lang naman yung tanong na yon. But I think it needs to be asked and it needs to be clarified by you. 
Why do we really pray to the Holy Source? Okay. Is there a benefit to us? Or it's totally for their sake? Okay. Well, the practice goes a long, long way, even before Christianity. As I said, it's a Maccabees, no? Yes. The soldiers found out that their fallen comrades have idols hidden on their body. Kaya namatay sila. Mm. So out yes. of love for their comrade, they, ano, they made it a point to pray for them that they may be saved. Okay? That they would also be part of God's household in heaven. Yes. So right there and then, there's already a practice established even in the Jewish faith. Which of course, we have carried over to our Christian faith. Kasi, Tayo naman is a continuum of the Jewish faith. Okay? Right. We were not born out of a, in a vacuum. Jesus Christ is a Jew. He died a Jew. He is not a Christian. Okay. Tayo na later on ang naging Christian. Opo. Yes. Taking the, of course, the teachings of our Lord Jesus Christ. So, uh, in time, okay, nagkaroon tayo ng practices na ito. Even the early Christians did that. But it was only in the 10th century with Pope Gregory the Great. Siya ang, nag, ano, siya ang nagsabi na ang ating ginagawa here on earth benefits the soul in purgatory. So our prayers, ang pamisa natin, our good works, if we attribute it to the poor souls in purgatory, they will have the merits until they are now ready to enter heaven. Okay. Now, uh, sila nang ba ang nagbe-benefit? <laughs> okay. Lahat ba ito para sa kanila? Well, first and foremost, why should it bother us? Di ba? Hindi ka nagpe-pray dahil you are asking for a prize. You do that out of charity. Matter of fact, praying for the poor souls uh, is one of the spiritual works of mercy. Kasi may corporal works of mercy, di ba? Dito sa earth, yung mm-hmm. feeding the, ano, feeding the prison, clothing the naked, etc., etc. Sa spiritual naman, isa doon ay ang prayer, no? For the souls. So, if you pray, you don't expect to be paid. And this, talagang yung chika hagaya ko noon, no? Na naging store ako ng aking merits kasi gusto po pumasok sa langit. But, you know, I think we go to that phase in our life. Hindi naman yan bad, no? It's just, you don't jump agad-agad sa higher understanding of our faith, di ba? You go through the process. You become a little child, sometimes self-centered, you know, selfish, but, you know, trying hard to follow God. And that is your level. So, hindi ka naman siguro mag stage and forever, di ba? Lalago ka naman siguro. Because yes. that is the challenge for you. Lalago ka. So, Kung lumago ka na, you don't need to be paid for what you are doing. So it doesn't matter whether it benefits us or not. As long as we make one saint, nakapasok siya lahat. That is an, a great achievement on our part. No? Yes. Now, of course, if one soul goes to heaven at naging saint, do you think, pagpapabayayan? We are humans. May mga utang na loob tayo. So, when they become soul, mas purified ang feelings. Hindi yun yung utang na loob na out of fear, out of servile uh, understanding, at marami pang hindi magandang, ano, no? Hindi magandang pag-iisip. Kasi purified na sila. They are spirits. So, they don't have the limitation of the human body. So, when they feel genuine love and charity for us, there's a genuine love in charity at its highest level. So, of course, kung tayo ng may mga limitasyon na tao, eh, may ganoong klaseng love for the souls, no? how much more pag naging saints sila, the love that they give to us probably is the purest form of love. So, they will pray for us. So, if ever there is a benefit on our part, we gain a friend in heaven. And those oh, friends will never rest if it is for our good. Just as we don't rest here on earth for the good of our men. That gave a whole new meaning to praying for 
our loved ones, our dear departed. Maganda yung point na nagdadasal tayo dahil mahal natin sila. Kahit na yung mga kaluluwa na hindi natin kakilala, di ba? Pinagdadasal natin kasi ang pagiging kristyano ay tukol sa pagmamahal. It's all about love. So if God loves the soul, we should love all, living or dead. <laughs>